Hello, welcome. So I've got a quick tip for you today for all the Logic users out there. I'm gonna show you how to reorganize your plugin folder. So I'm gonna show you how to use a pre-existing categories like EQ and compression and whatnot and put in the plugins that you wanna see in there. I'm gonna show you how to create a favorites folder so you can just put in absolutely any plugin, all the ones that you use on a day-to-day -day basis and also a folder for manufacturers in case you have a manufacturer that you use all the time and you just wanna access that quickly. Let's have a look. Okay, so if we go over to Logic, go into the plugins folder, you'll notice as normal, you've got all of your categories here. So dynamics, EQ and whatnot. And if we look at dynamics, that's all of just the Logic ones. But we don't always use just Logic ones. We want to use some of our other plugins that we also use all the time. Um, so for example, EQ here, I've got the Logic ones, but I've also got a few Waves ones that I use. And I've now created a favorites one just to get started really, which has a few of my favorite plugins in there. And then if we go down here, I've got one which is dedicated to a manufacturer as well. So how do we do that? It's really, really, really simple. So let's go up to Logic Pro settings and then to plugin manager and I'm sure you'll be very familiar with this screen it's really just a case of dragging and dropping so if we go over to EQ these are the ones that I've currently got in there but if we want to bring in some from another manufacturer just scroll down to them and find the ones that you want to put in there so we'll use that one and that okay and all you need to do is just drag it over to the EQ folder and immediately those are going to appear ready to be used so you don't have to be limited to the logic ones and you can do that with any of these categories that you already have listed so do it with dynamics as well find a few of those there we go put that in there hit done and now when you go over to that folder EQ we've got all my our additional plugins that I inputted there go to dynamics we've got the additional plugins there too okay and what about adding new folders well it's very very simple as you can imagine so over here you've got all your folders all you need to do is add a new folder. Go to Slate and find all the ones you want to put in there. So we're going to say Slate Digital, lovely jubbly, drag over there, hit done, and you'll have this new folder there. We've got Slate, and that's all of my Slate plugins all in one place. And then in the same respect, if you want to have your favorites, you just do the same thing. You can do as many of these as you like, and it's really, really cool. You can actually just totally just customize this to in any way you like. So I created one which was favorites, and then I've started to put a few of the ones that I always use on a day-to-day -day basis. So the good thing about this is it means that you're not always going all the way down to audio units and then going to your manufacturer and then finding the one that you want. If you spend the time, and let's face it, some of us are quite geeky, we want to kind of get involved in this, you could get all of the EQ plugins from all the in all the manufacturers that you use or maybe just all of them if you like all the manufacturers that you use drag them into there and then you've got quick access to every EQ that you have instead of trying to look look through the audio units same goes for all the other categories and of course if you just have a few favorites in there which you always use all the time and you want to get rid of the ones that are just kind of you may be collected over time then you can just narrow it down and create a folder like that so there you go nice and easy nice and quick and that's literally it. It's, as I said, it's super easy and it really helps to tidy things up and customize things and get things in a good place for you. Um, as always, if you did like the video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also the notification bell and you'll get notified of upcoming videos. So um, yeah, and also if you subscribe to the main list below, I will send you free stuff, which will be an EQ cheat sheet as well as some one shots that you can use in your mixes. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Yes, Thank <laughs> you.